this is this comes under this resilience hubbers uh, bucket as I mentioned earlier. Um, decarbonisation is absolutely key. That is going to be a major driving force for how you think about resilience in your supply chain. If you don't get that done, your supply chains are not going to be resilient to your customer behaviour and attitudes, yep. and certainly not resilient to policy. So that that's a real key one going forward. The other one is 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 the physical effects of climate change. I mean, we see all of us every day uh, yeah. where we live and on TV, um, uh, uh, the impact, be it wildfires, floodings, heat stress and so on. Um, the prognosis that's only going to intensify over the next 10 years, you also need to think about, can you operate your supply chain? Mm. Can you operate that manufacturing hub? Can you transport the goods from the manufacturer to the ports? Um, and can you get your people to work? So I think this is another area where um, we're becoming more aware but yeah. we need to be um, do the homework to ensure that we understand the risks uh, involved. So for me, if you're trying to simplify things, it's around themes, so certainly around ESG and, and climate change, which as we look forward over the next decade, I think are going to be rising very rapidly up the, up the agenda.